Hi, good day everyone. First for me, uh, I'm going to push you. Uh, okay, so I'm to get from point, force and motion to subtopic 1.1, legal to force. Okay, then by the end of this lesson, we should be able to Okay, describe resultant force. Okay, number two, determine the resultant force. Number three, communicate about resultant force. Or a uh, single force is F when an object is in uh, this situation. Number one, stationary when F is equal to zero. Situation two, object moving with constant velocity for F is equal to zero when F is equal to zero. And situation three, object moving with constant acceleration when f is not equal to zero newton. And situation number uh, and number four, solve problem involving resultant force, mass, and acceleration of an object. Okay, so let's recall our prior knowledge. Okay, what do you uh, understand about the force? Force is an action of pull or push. Okay, we can describe force from newton. Second law, first law, and also third law. But what we're going to uh, rephrase or uh, what we're going to focus on this topic is Newton's second law, which is F is equal to MA, uh, F is equal to force in Newton, M is equal to mass in kg, and A is equal to acceleration in Newton per second. We have a lot of forces, like of, uh, we can state uh, type of force, we have a lot of forces. Uh, for example, uh, the picture number one is not very clear. This is actually a rocket, okay? A thrust force, that means force uh, pointing upward. And this second force is, okay, uh, a person try to ignite a uh, fire using a pneumatic and also dry, dry lip or something else. Uh, okay, this we call as frictional force. Apple falling downward or any object falling downward, okay. We can call this force as gravitational force. And a person standing, um, a person, okay, it's uh, the force that acting on this person is upward force and also downward force. Okay, upward force we call as reaction, okay, downward force we call as weight. The same goes to our. Uh, apple. apple also we call as weight okay, or gravitational force. Okay, uh, we have another situation here. A person, a fifth, uh, this person um, try to pull a rope. Okay. Another person, why another person try to push something. Okay, this, we consider all situation here uh, is uh, force. Okay, they involve the situation here involves forces, okay, type of forces that we're going to make. Okay, so uh, here is the question. How to determine the winner in type of war competition? Okay, how can you determine the winner in type of war competition? Okay, um, so based on the, um, so for, my, for me, okay, based on the, um, the team that can, uh, pull the uh, rope knee with greater force. Okay, the team that have higher forces or greater force will win the competition because they can pull the uh, opponent uh, towards their uh, direction. Okay, towards their team team's direction or they can um, defeat the other uh, team. Okay, so we have situation here a resultant force what is resultant force okay resultant force is a single force that represents the vector sum of two or more forces acting on an object so we have a box here we have two type of force acting on this box okay you have to consider lah, the direction because force is a vector quantity okay force uh, has magnitude and also direction okay uh, we have to consider two things, magnitude and also direction. First thing first, okay, we calculate the magnitude. We have uh, force number one acting to the left, magnitude of 20 Newton. And the other force, F2, okay, uh, magnitude uh, of 20 Newton acting to the 
right. Okay, how to find result of false is the sum of the false. Okay, the sum of the false. That means you have to um, consider the greater false. Okay, but in this situation, we have the equal magnitude of false. So the resultant force is equal to zero. Okay, if two forces of same magnitude but opposite direction are applied on stationary object, the object remain at rest. So from the resultant force, we can say that both of force is equal, even though it is in uh, different direction. So the object, we call this object uh, stationary. Okay, the object is in the state of stationary or object is not moving. Okay, next, if two forces of different magnitude and direction are applied on stationary object, the object will move in the direction of larger force. Okay, so I will see here. Uh, okay, same goes to the um, example just now. Okay, but we have two forces with different magnitude and also different direction. So how to find a resultant force? We have to sum. We have to find the sum of two vector of forces. Okay, that means you have to find the greater forces minus with the smaller forces. Okay, 80 minus 20. Okay, you will get 60 Newton. Okay, you have to find the direction. Direction will follow the uh, force with this uh, which has higher magnitude okay we have f1 is equal to 80 newton so uh, 60 newton to the left that is the resultant force okay so we have four situation here so i want you to try try to uh, determine what is the uh, resultant forces okay situation number one okay find the magnitude first Okay, then you find the direction. Then you will find the what is the resultant force of the um, resultant force of situation number one. Okay, situation number one. Okay, 40 minus 20, 20 Newton to the right. Okay, situation number two, 80 and 40. You find the greater forces. Okay, it's easy. Okay, find the greater magnitude of force. Okay, then you will uh, state the direction uh, same to the uh, greater forces direction. Okay, 40 newton to the left. Okay, here equal magnitude of force. Okay, so the object we call the object as in the state of stationary or the, the object is at rest. The force situation 60 and 20. 60 minus 20 uh, is equal to 40 newton to the right. Easy, right? Okay, so we come to the other uh, situation. Okay, how to find the resultant force of two force acting perpendicularly to each other? Okay, just now, uh, the force acting uh, horizontal. Horizontal, same goes to vertical. If both of the forces is in vertical, you just, you, on, you can straight away sum up the vector of the forces, okay? But in this situation, if we have two type of force, acting on the same object but perpendicularly perpendicularly to each other what you need to do okay number one you have to arrange the force into a free body diagram number two create a triangle from the diagram and number three okay the resultant force will be the third line that create triangle okay let's see the example okay what is free body diagram Free body diagram represent the axis, axis of x and also axis y. Uh, it uh, depend on you lah. You can use the your pad and draw your free body diagram. Free body re diagram represent the object lah, object itself. If uh, here in this situation we got uh, we have a box, a box. Uh, there is a force acting upward and also acting on the on the right. Okay. Okay, so we have situation here. Force perpendicularly to the motion, we have F1. We consider F upward as F1 and the other force to the right, consider as F2. Okay, object, you have to make sure the vector of the forces is the same direction as the motion. Okay, ni I think upward. Eh? I think upward and the other, the other force ni. The second force acting to the right. Okay, so 
how to find the resultant force. Resultant force will be the um, hypotenuse. Hypotenuse of the of the um, hypotenuse of the triangle. You have to create a triangle then. Okay, you have to create a triangle. That means the other force, the, the resultant force would be your uh, hypotenuse. Okay, and here is your resultant force. The red color arrow. This is your resultant force. Okay, next. Uh, example, find the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. How to find the resultant force? You have to know like, the magnitude first. Magnitude of the force. Okay, F1 is equal to 8 newton. F2 is equal to 6 newton, for example. Eh? Solution. Okay, you have to use theorem Pythagoras formula. Lah. Okay, C square is equal to A square plus D square. Okay, C square is your um, hypotenuse. Okay, your hypotenuse will be your um, resultant force. Okay, A square, 8 over 2 plus 6 square. Okay, F resultant is equal to 10 newton. Okay, you have to square root lah. The answer, you have to get the magnitude of the resultant force is equal to 10 newton. So, you have to find the direction. How to uh, find the direction? Okay, direction of the force. Okay, this is the angle lah. Okay, how to find the uh, resultant force, direction of resultant force. Okay, you have to use tan lah. Uh, tan. tan theta is equal to 6 over 8. So, uh, theta is equal to shift tan or tan tan. 6 over 8, you will get the direction is 36.9 degree. Okay, just take 36.9 degree. No need to uh, to um, stick towards north east northwest ke no need okay just the angle angle will represent the direction okay okay situation number uh, next situation how to find uh, resultant of two force acting not perpendicularly to each other okay we can use two method okay first method is triangle method how to use uh, how to use triangle method okay number one you have to choose a suitable scale according to the force magnitude okay you have to use the exact scale eh? but you can uh, minimize the scale if the scale uh, for example eh, if you use uh, if the force here given the force magnitude of the force is 10 newton you can convert 10 newton into 10 centimeter uh, because triangle method means you have to draw you have to draw uh, the triangle okay you have to decrease the scale Okay, draw F1 and F2 to form two sides of triangle. Okay, same goes to our previous example just now. The third line will be the resultant force. Okay, let's see how, how we can uh, do this. Now we can solve this question. Okay, so this is the T. This is we consider as F1. Eh? Uh, you have to consider direction of force as well. Okay, we have uh, on this picture, we have a container here. Uh, be towing by two boot, boot A and also boot B. So, uh, the force that acting on this, uh, poses by this rope is tension. Okay, tension, uh, force that poses by the rope. Okay, we call it as tension, tension 1 and also tension 2. Okay, so T1. Okay, you have to uh, already uh, draw the arrow. Arrow will represent the direction of the force. Okay, this is the T. 30 is here. Okay, this is 40. 40 and here is 50. Here is 50. So, I have uh, removed or I have changed the, um, I have transferred the force me towards the other side. The other side here. Uh, because you also can get the same force but in uh, different location. Okay, the same force, exactly the same force but we just transfer the force into a uh, different spot here find the resultant force okay another tips is you have to make sure your vector of force ni attached to each other okay direction ni attached to each other okay like passing the baton lah okay here uh, one force and you join with other force like pass, passing the baton if you uh, apa ni you cannot connect this force the, the, at the end of the force to another force straight away like that. No, I cannot. Okay, you have to pass the baton. Okay, this is uh, one vector of force and join the other force. Okay, you get the, this is the uh, 
the resultant force. We will get the resultant force here. You have to draw it. Okay. Uh, maybe we need a, a graph paper to make sure you get the um, accurate accurate uh, force or accurate resultant force. Okay, so uh, just draw. Okay, after you finish, draw the uh, the force, and you will get the correct resultant force. Okay, so next, how to find resultant force of two force not perpendicularly to each other? Okay, we also can use uh, another method that is parallelogram of force method. Okay, uh, this method, uh, step number one, you have to choose a suitable scale according to the force magnitude. Same goes to our previous example, draw F1 and F2 to form two side triangle. And method, the third line will be the resultant force. Okay, uh, most likely the same, but we have some difference. Okay, so this is the, as this for free body diagram. Okay, from our previous, okay, the same. Uh, question okay with the same value okay so how to draw the uh, parallelogram method okay uh, here you have to use uh, if given to you the magnitude of the force okay the magnitude of the force will represent the um, will represent the uh, scale of the force if 70 uh, newton you can change to 7 centimeter okay if you have Another force here, 50 Newton. You can change the scale into 5, 5 centimeter on your scale when you draw on the graph paper. Okay, so 60, uh, 40, 60. Okay, how you get the the value? Okay, um, same like this lah. Okay, if we have this um value here, value 50, this, and this is 30 and 40. It's not right angle eh, because uh, the angle from uh, post number one to post number two is 80 degree. Okay. Okay, so 40 and 60, sini we have 50 again. Okay, so you have to use the same scale of 70, 70, 50, 50 and you will get the, uh, you will find the, your resultant post. Okay, second law express as express as f is equal to mk if the number of contact on the object at the same time f represents the force on an object this is newton second law okay result of force on an object in various state of motion okay so if we have an object here then we're going to you have to refer you have to draw every possible force that will act on this object okay the possible force is reaction and weight lah. if the object is stationary if the object is stationary so the object didn't have any acceleration no uh, no acceleration no velocity and also no displacement zero okay so um the velocity is 0 meter per second, acceleration is equal to 0 meter per second, resultant force is equal to W is equal to R because we don't have any horizontal force, we only have vertical force. Okay, W is equal to R. We call this object is in stationary state. Okay, okay, but in second situation, if velocity is constant, that means object is moving. Okay, acceleration is zero, uh, constant velocity. Constant velocity is zero acceleration. Okay, what is it? Resultant force. Okay, resultant force, as we know. Okay, the thrust is equal to friction and also reaction is equal to weight. All the force is equal to each other. Okay, object is moving with uniform velocity. Okay, this we call as the horizontal force and the other force is uh, vertical force okay and next situation if velocity increasing uh, for example acceleration is equal to 50 meter per second square resultant force is equal to 50 uh, for example eh, resultant force is equal to 50 that means uh, if the object is increasing sorry acceleration accelerate that means we we can automatically predict the thrust is greater than friction. 
the thrust is equal to uh, the, is greater to friction. That, that's why the object can accelerate. The object only accelerate if the thrust is greater than friction. Okay, when the object is decelerate, that means friction is greater than thrust. Okay, then goes to our reaction and also weight. Okay, weight is equal to reaction. Okay, then object is moving with acceleration. Okay, you can predict lah. Uh, from the motion, you can predict what is the force. Uh, roughly lah, you can you can roughly uh, know what is the value of the forces. Okay. Uh, you clear with my explanation. Okay, we have a question here. Uh, figure eleven point one. I uh, show a toy car of mass zero point five. Okay, on table being pulled by a load using a pulley. A toy car moves with acceleration of two point eight meter per second square against friction of three point zero newton. Gravitational acceleration given by nine point eight one. A meter per second sketch the free body diagram of toy car and the load okay sketch the free body diagram eh? please underline and make sure don't forget to list down all the uh, list down all the uh, value given in the question okay use w as weight of toy okay if the question already given to you then direction like this uh, instruction like this please follow all the instructions given okay r is equal to normal reaction on the toy car fr is equal to friction p is tension of the string and b weight of the load okay b compare the weight of the toy car w with the normal reaction r calculate the the resultant force acting on the toy car f okay calculate the tension in the string pulling to the toy car t what is the mass of the load m Okay, so this is the uh, diagram. Okay, so we need to draw the free body diagram. Okay, this is the free body diagram. You have to draw all the possible, all the possible um, forces. Okay, I think I have. Yeah, so. Sorry, okay. Here is the actual diagram. Okay, this is the free body diagram for this question. Okay, R, please make sure you follow all the weight of the toy car. W, suppose W, eh? not W, A. So, W je. Okay, wait. R is the normal reaction on the toy car. Okay, R. Even R, reaction acting upward. Eh? FR, friction. FR. Okay, we have FR here. T, tension. T, tension. We have two T. Eh? Ada T, two. Uh, that means uh, this is the same. A string, the same string, but it act, uh, acting in different direction. Why? Because we have, uh, we have two um, free body diagram. If the question want you on the, uh, want you to draw the free body diagram on the toy car, then is it? This is the free body on the toy car. Okay, this is the free body diagram for the loop. Okay. But I want you to, uh, ni lah, the tips, not the tips lah. I want you to uh, make sure, I want you to understand that um, this string acting in different direction. Why? Because this string hold this load and also uh, hold this toy car. Okay, the direction of the force acting on the load, string on the load is acting upward. The string acting upward on the load and also the string is acting towards the towards the, the right. Okay, to the right, the direction of the string to the right for the um, toy car. Okay, this is the free body diagram. Make sure you draw all the possible, all the possible uh, force. Okay, um, but uh, this is exception for this question. You already, uh, the question already uh, give everything. Uh, so you just follow the instruction, okay? Okay, next. Compare the weight of the, compare the weight of toy car W with the normal reaction. Okay, object is, object is stationary. As I told just now, okay, object is stationary. That means there is no force acting on horizontal. We only have force on the vertical side. Okay, R is equal to W, W A. What is W A? Okay, W J. 
W A uh, W weight of the toy car. Okay, reaction of the toy car is equal to weight of the toy car. Okay, calculate the resultant force acting on the toy car F. Okay, how to find the resultant force? Okay, we can use the formula of Newton second law. Okay, uh, please uh, list down all the information given in the question. Mass of the toy 0 0.5 kg, acceleration of the car 2.8 meter per second square. Okay, given, this is uh, Newton second law, F is equal to MA, F, F is equal to 0 0.5 times 2.8. So you get the resultant force is 1.4 meter. Okay. You can straight away uh, get the resultant force from the formula of the Newton second law. Okay, next. Calculate the tension in the string pulling the toy car. Okay, this is uh, when you need to draw the cool free body diagram on this object. Okay, so we have uh, we already have the resultant force is equal to 1.4. Eh? Friction, this is friction, 3 newton. Okay, resultant force, resultant force on horizontal. Okay, F is equal to MA to uh, uh, newton second law. They are acted on the horizontal, horizontal as this. Okay, acted on horizontal as this. So, F is equal to MA because the object may only accelerate on horizontal as this. Okay, so... F resultant is equal to tension. Okay, we have two types of force on the horizontal. Okay, tension and also friction. But uh, if the object moving with acceleration, that means we know lah, the object accelerate, accelerate to where? Okay, to the right. Okay, the right forces is greater than the left forces. Okay, so that's why we need to minus tension minus friction. Tension because tension is greater. Object is accelerate, eh? Object is accelerate. That means tension is greater than the friction. Okay, resultant force is equal to tension minus friction. So we want to find the tension. Tension is equal to uh, resultant force plus uh, plus your uh, friction. Okay, so tension is equal to one point four plus three point zero. So tension is equal to four point four. That is the Tension in the string pulling the toy car. Okay, this is how you find the value of the tension. Okay, next, what is the mass of the loop M? Okay, how to find mass of the loop M? Okay, given tension is equal to 4.4 uh, Newton. Okay, from the formula of Newton's second law, F is equal to MA. Okay, what is WB? Uh, teacher yang buat WB. Okay, WB ni load eh. Uh, load, load here. Okay, F is equal to MA. Okay, MAF. Okay, on the load ni, we have two type of force ni. We call as the um, vertical forces. Okay, we have two force here. Okay, if the object is accelerate, Object is accelerate downward. That means W B is greater than T. Okay, accelerate downward. Eh? Okay, on this free body diagram, T is greater than F. But on for second free body diagram on the road, W B is greater than T. Why? Because it accelerate downward. Okay. Okay, we have to uh, measure uh, one by one. Eh? Measure one by one. Okay, this is the. Uh, actually, this is a one system. One system, but it is easier for you to. Um, to calculate one by one free body, uh, refer to free body diagram. WP minus T is equal to MA. Eh? MA given to you uh, in the question. A is equal to A is equal to um, 2.8. Okay, so sub it into the formula. W, WB weight is equal to MG. Eh? MG G is equal to 9.81. 9.81m minus T is equal to 2.8m. Okay, so um, calculate, you can dapat M is equal to 0.63kg. Yeah, so it's different. Eh? Okay, elevator. Okay, this is ele elevator. So, um, sorry. So change this. Elevator. Okay, the elevator situation. Very easy. Okay, um, okay, in this situation, okay, object moving with zero acceleration. No, not accelerate. Eh? That means it moving with constant velocity. 
Quantum velocity, uh, that means it uh, moving with quantum velocity without any acceleration, right? Okay, from uh, Newton's second law, F is equal to MA. Okay, A is equal to zero, kan? Okay, so we have two types of force here, reaction and also weight. Okay, yeah, there's only two forces and we, as we all know, um, elevator only moving upward and downward, kan? Uh, we don't have elevator that moving side by side. Okay, uh, elevator moving up and down. That means we only consider the uh, vertical forces. We have reaction and also weight. Okay, so uh, when the acceleration is equal to zero, so we refer to this um, formula, F is equal to MA. When A is equal to uh, zero, that means only F lah. Betul tak? Only F, yeah. Uh, inside this, F is equal to zero, betul? F is equal to zero. So, that means, R minus W, F, we consider uh, F ni kita akan refer to all the possible forces acted on this object. Okay, so we have R and W, R minus W is equal to zero. So, R is equal to W. What is R? Reaction. What is W? W is weight. Object is moving with constant as constant velocity lah. Constant velocity. Elevator. Elevator. Constant acceleration, not accelerate. Constant velocity. Constant velocity. Acceleration is zero. Okay. Okay, next. Elevator as well. Okay, we have second situation. Uh, this elevator accelerate upward. So we have acceleration upward. So, um, same goes to this question. We only consider the vertical forces. Okay, from Newton's second law. F is equal to MA. So from this situation, we know when the object accelerate upward, the, the upward forces is greater than downward forces. So R is greater than W. R is greater than W. Eh? So we know lah, the value magnitude of force upward is greater than force downward. So we have to minus lah, R minus W because we know the greater force is reaction. Okay. Reaction minus weight is equal to MA. Uh, where you get A, MA uh, from this lah. F ni, we consider all the forces. Okay, R is equal to MA plus W. Okay, W, W is equal to weight kan? Weight is equal to MG. R is equal to MA plus MG. Object is moving upward with an acceleration. Okay, next situation. Elevator as well. Okay, object moving downward uh, with acceleration. Okay, uh, we have two type of force. F is equal to MA. So, if it moving downward with acceleration, W is greater than R. Weight is greater than reaction. W minus R, we have to, uh, we use W. W weight have to minus with R. Why? Because W, we know W is greater than reaction. W minus R is equal to MA. R is equal to W minus MA. R is equal to MG minus MA. Object is moving downward with acceleration. Okay, we have question number two. Uh, a derivative of mass 1.5 AD fall from the tree with acceleration of 7.5 meter per second square in figure 1.9. Sketch the free body diagram of the durian. What is the resultant force F acting on the durian? Determine the direction of the resultant force. Find the magnitude of the resultant resistance acting on the durian. Gravitational force given by okay, 9.81. Okay, here is the free body diagram. Falling of durian. Okay, only vertical forces uh, involved. Okay, R and W lah. R is reaction, W is weight. Please uh, write down it. Copy, weight. Weight. Reaction here. Reaction. Okay, so we have two forces at on this object. Okay, next. What is the resultant force acting on the durian? Okay, given the acceleration is equal to 7.5. Okay, F is equal to M A. M given the mass of durian is 1.5 times 7.3. 7.5. F is equal to 11.25. Okay, then you get the resultant force of the durian. Okay, determine the Resultant force direction of the resultant force direction of resultant force of the rear is downward since it's accelerate downward. Okay, next. Nice.
minus 1 the magnitude of air resistance acting on the durian. Okay, resultant force. That means you have to know object. The object resultant, uh, sorry, resistance is the force that always opposes the direction of the motion. Okay, uh, durian moving downward. So, the resistance will be the uh, direction which is uh, opposite to the direction of the motion which is downward. That means upward would be your re resistance. In R ni, reaction, kita akan consider, we will consider reaction force as the resistance. Air resistance. Okay, find the method of the air resistance acting on the durian. Okay, so as we know, the durian accelerate downward. Okay, the downward forces is greater than the upward forces. So, weight minus reaction. Weight minus reaction is equal to F. Okay, the force, eh? the force. Okay, R. R is equal to W minus F. Okay, R is equal to 1.5 times weight, eh? the Mg. Eh? Mg minus resultant force. Okay, you don't need to find MA eh? because you already have the magnitude of the resultant force here. The resultant force involved here is only F. Eh? Okay, R is equal to 3.47 Newton. Okay. Okay, question number three. A woman of mass 50 kg is standing in a leaf. Rotation acceleration G is 9.81 meter per second square. Figure 1.10 sketch the free body diagram using symbol W for the weight of the woman and R for the normal reaction from the floor to the leaf. Okay, determine the magnitude of normal reaction when leaf is stationary. Moving upward with acceleration of 1.5 meter per second square and moving with uniform velocity of 9.2 meter per second. Okay, how to solve this question? You have to draw the free body diagram first. Okay, sketch the free body diagram using symbol W for weight and R for reaction. And you know lah how to draw the free body diagram. Eh? Okay, next. Okay, uh, reaction, reaction force when the leaf is stationary. You have to find the R when the leaf is stationary. Stationary when A is equal to zero. Acceleration is equal to zero. F is equal to MA from Newton's second law. You're going to use this Newton's second law in this whole topic. Okay, R is equal to WY because A is equal to zero. R is equal to W. R is equal to MG. So substitute 50 times 9.81. You will get the reaction force is equal to for 490.5 newton. Okay, next. Now, moving upward with acceleration of 1.5 meter per second square. Okay, stationary, but moving with acceleration of moving upward with acceleration. This is not stationary, lah, kan? Object moving with acceleration. Okay, A. Uh, okay, station, uh, okay, object moving with upward. More object moving upward with an acceleration. So you know from this formula, the second law, R is greater than W. Why? Because it's moving with acceleration upward. Okay. R is greater than W. R minus W is equal to MA. R is equal to MA plus MG. So substitute into the formula. A is equal to 1.5. G is equal to 9.81. Then you will get reaction force is equal to 565.5. Okay. Uh, last question, moving with uniform velocity of 9.2 meter per second. Okay, acceleration is equal to zero. Uniform velocity, eh? the uniform velocity that means zero acceleration. So, same goes, uh, same like our uh, previous question. F is equal to MA, R is equal to W, then you get reaction force is equal to 490.5 meters. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much uh, for watching my video. I wait for our activity on this Thursday. Please bring your um, your graph paper. Bring your graph paper. We will do some activity. We're going to find the uh, resultant force using uh, parallelogram method and also triangle method. Okay, bye for now. Thank you so much.